Heating costs in 2022 may be a big thing, because the prices are getting higher, higher and higher, and never lower. So how to lower your costs? I have an idea for you. So maybe you got already some smart thermostats. And if you got some from Tado, like I have here in my app, you may know the auto assist feature, but you maybe not use it. Why? You don't use it because it costs, per subscription model, 25 euros per year. And why you should pay this? For what? You can have it for free. free. You now think, hä? No, that's a subscription model. But I will show you, you can have it for free. You just have to do what I do in my video and then you can save money with geofencing, with open window detection and just for free. So let's see how we do it in the video after the intro. Let's go! So here we are in my browser. What you can see here is uh, just my GitHub page because I want to um, yeah, tell you an information. Every single video I'm recording is also a blog article on my website. The website you can find here. Maybe you are also coming from the website and yeah, going on to the YouTube video second. But you have to know there will always be a blog article for every video or at least for 99% of the case cases. So because you may wondering why, but you all know it's so annoying if you have this, uh, for example, uh, some configuration for Docker Compose or anything, and you see it in the video, you have to pause the video and yeah, just copy it, type it, and then maybe you have a typo in it and think, hmm, why does it not work? And ah, oh, come on. And it's just time wasting. So I, t I, I thought, why not? I do it for you and give some, give also some information additional information about everything and you can also find it better. Maybe a website is better findable than a video because not everybody is searching for the same thing in the same browser or whatever. So enough uh, for that. We can have a look for example for the yeah at the um, at the script of Arian Slabu, the Tado AA or, or AA not AA, I'm sorry. I'm really in my German language. Um, for in the script, which also says what it does, geofencing and open window detection, so basically the functions of auto assist. And we can have a look, uh, slightly look here. It has been updated, yeah, one month ago, or yeah, basically one month ago, because there was one bug or something. Tato changed something, so it did not work. But now uh, it is working again, I can tell you, <laughs> because I'm using it too. And you can see here, it's using your username and password. And we can see here, it's a very basic script, just a simple script, which gets the data, like which devices and yeah, what's their location, are they at home or not. And you can have a look here if you want to learn something about it or whatever, if you're interested, that's your, that's your URL, that's your man who created the script. Also for the open window detection, you can see here. And you can also use this, just this Python script without Docker. But I would not recommend it because why not have Docker if it is possible? Because it's just much more easier. You don't need to install Python. You don't need to install PyTado, a, a virtual environment, for example, or anything. And to get Tado auto assist work, we need PyTado which is just the Python module for uh, yeah, the Tado web API. And that's important because we get our data from there. And that was done by, or was implemented by Chris Jewell. And already in 2016 to 2019 was the last commit and it works fine. So why should anybody do something? But I thought, ha, ah, why having this virtual environment and all this stuff when I can have it in Docker? So, and that's why I created the Docker image. And yeah, basically this Docker image um, does everything for you. We can see here 
currently um, I'm pushing the, um, the Docker image for AMD 64. So basically every Windows device, every Intel uh, x64 processor, uh, but also like I'm using ARM devices like a Raspberry Pi or um, Odroid, Rock Pro or whatever single board computer you have there. And that is pretty nice because you don't need much power consumption for this little script. It really does not need much. You can see uh, the the image is just 20 MB, uh, MBits big. So that's not much load. And yeah, how do we use it? We can basically do something else. We can have also a free instance on, for example, Oracle, which is always free, will always run on a remote server. But you have to care because maybe it's not the best way because you expose your personal data. Not exposed, but they're on a remote server. Your, Tado, your Tado credentials will be on a remote server because you need to tell them in Docker. And if you get hacked or something, you have to be careful. So maybe that's a better way you self-host it at home because it has not that, uh, it has not that much uh, load. And if you have a little server there, even a Raspberry Pi 3 would, I guess it would be enough then go for it. So, and what I wanted to show, what I want to show you is how to start the Docker container now, or just start the Docker container or the Docker image, use it. <sighs> yes, I'm talking way too much. So we can go in Portainer, for example, or we can also go per SSH into this uh, yeah, Ubuntu instance on our server and do it here with Docker Compose up and define it, blah, blah, blah. I guess you all knew it, knew it, know it. And if not, just ask, no problem. So we go here into stacks and deploy a new stack. And let us just say it is called Tato AA. And to not be too boring, I'm just copying it. So we can see here it's Tato AA. We always want to restart it and want to have a nice name because we don't want any cryptic uh, numbers and uh, I don't know what kind of name, which is very ugly. And the image is important, which is, yeah, basically as I shown my name and Tato AA and the latest one. And I will always care, therefore, that it is the, um, yeah, the newest version of the script. And then a very important part is the environment, because we need to set your username and password. So also important is that you write it in uppercase, because I have defined it that it has to be in uppercase, the environment variables. And I also can show it to you. So we basically use the, po the Python Alpine image. And I said, okay, we have a work direction app, copy everything of my folder in it. So basically the script with, which I has uh, modified a little bit. And we also need Python Tato, the module, because otherwise we can't talk to the API. It's simple. And that are just a label, that are just labels for uh, the Docker image. So for the public, uh, for the public, that everybody can see it. And here's what I meant. The environment variable is written in uppercase. So username and password are given to the Tado AI script, which is, yeah, like I said, modified and it will use it and you will get logged in. And that it's basically, that, that is basically, that is basically it. I'm very sorry for talking like shit. So, and a very important part is, I know that Portana sometimes is buggy. If you use, if you don't define the environment variables here, but here, it will maybe say login failed. I already had it. Don't ask me why, as Portana is buggy as hell. Uh, better do it like this, define your username and password here. And I will do this now off screen and come back to you if the stack is deployed. So we can see that the stack is deployed now, as we can see here, Tato AA, and we can see that it is running. So we have a look in the logs and we can see, ah, your home is in home mode, because of course I'm currently at home, where should I else record it here? <laughs> and the device, <laughs> whatever, 
for me it's just one device because I live alone and uh, yeah is at home and now it is always listening for any change so for example if I would open my window now in the bathroom then yeah it would recognize it and say it here that it was detected and you can you could see the locks and yeah that's basically it I will only show you now which requirements you have to um, yeah to deal with in the Tato app because you also have to activate these uh, open window detection and stuff because otherwise uh, we can't grab it here but that's a simple part and I will show you it right now so we are here in the Tato app I'm sorry that is in German because yeah I'm literally German so that's a single a little problem but you can see the icons on which I click so there should no problem there should be no problem so the first one is this one here where it says uh, yeah location depending uh, control which is very important because you have to activate it for every device of your of your home members so for example your mom your dad your sister and you uh, because otherwise Tato can't recognize if you are at home or not you can do it with the Wi-Fi um, yeah you can do it with Wi-Fi so it knows your UUID or something like your name uh, my Wi-Fi and yeah they know it, the Tato knows you are at home but you can also do it via GPS and yeah that's what this here is for you can say okay in this radius of 200 meters I'm at home and when I'm out this radius I'm leaving and the second uh, option is the the window open um, window open detection the, which is this here so if you you can allow it for every room you want to for example bathroom uh, living room or whatever or your kitchen and you have to activate it and yeah then Tado will recognize if there's a really a drop of the temperature and deactivate the deactivate the um, thermos thermostat or is it thermostat in English I don't know I really don't know and yeah you don't heat for nothing thank you for watching the video if you found it helpful please leave a like a comment and a subscription there I would really appreciate it and yeah have a good night or a good day day and night what? What? I talk from her and I keep stressing my mind, mind. What? and See you next time.